Just outside Washington, D.C., a team of Army scientists is on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. So a lot of the work we spent uh, over this last year was actually trying to capture this molecule and really stabilize it. They've developed a unique experimental coronavirus vaccine. Lab tests suggest it could protect against newer, more transmissible variants of the COVID virus, including those first identified in the UK and South Africa. We know that viruses uh, live to mutate, mutate to live. So we were going to have to develop a broad vaccine. Clinical trials now underway at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. We were able to visit where the vaccine is actually being produced on site, but only while manufacturing was paused. So what, what, what's all the machinery here? What are we looking at? So what you see here is a just a standard shaker incubator, your biological safety cabinets. If successful, the Army vaccine could be available for broad use as a booster shot for people already vaccinated. So we'll go, what, across the yeah, hallway here? Yeah, we're going to go into that area so you okay. can see that. They're now testing it in a phase one study. This past week, retired Army Colonel Francis Holinati stepped up to be the first to get the shot. Why did you want to participate in this trial? So when I saw the poster looking for volunteers, I did truly see this as another way to serve. Researchers say the vaccine, if successful, could protect against not only COVID-19, but other coronaviruses too. What we're doing right now is not just a stepping stone for a broader coronavirus vaccine, but for broader vaccines in general to all different types of viruses. Yeah, so it's, it's the Swiss Army knife of vaccines potentially. That's what we hope. What's it feel like to be on the front lines of combating the COVID-19 crisis? It's, it's uh, really a, a good feeling, knowing that we are actually able to not only be part of the DOD response, but part of the, the federal COVID response has been an incredible feeling. Jeff Bennett, NBC News, Silver Spring, Maryland. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.